Welcome to Burning Eyes Tech guys. Today's new topic is the Network Testing Companion. Now, this great tool is used by administrators both on the Skype for Business and the Microsoft Teams side of things. So in today's topic, we're going to be discussing what exactly the Network Testing Companion is and how or where we can go about configuring this topic. So first things first, what is the Network Testing Companion? Now, this is a great tool you can go and use on Teams, which allows you to go and check in general if the quality of your network or your client or your user's network is up to par to be able to support Microsoft Teams. There is a good chance that this network might be too slow. Maybe the network quality is too unstable, or maybe some ports are not open and needs to be open. So this tool is effectively gonna go and allow you to go and test whether these networks actually support Microsoft Teams. Now, in some cases you might be lucky, maybe it's just a port that's closed. In some cases, it might just be a matter of upgrading something, but there are times when it might be something more serious and this tool will effectively point out those issues. Now, the next thing we're gonna be discussing is how or where do we actually go and configure the network testing companion? So that being said, I think let's jump in and show you guys how this gets done. Okay, here we are guys. I'm currently on one of my virtual machines. For obvious reasons, like usual, I'm gonna be blurring out my public IP. I don't kind of feel like being hacked today by anyone. So how do we start this whole process? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and start off by opening PowerShell as an administrator on my machine. This is the same way you guys can go about it. So let me do that. Okay, here we are guys. I am gonna go and zoom in just a little bit on the PowerShell side of things, just to make things easier for the people that's using a small screen. So hopefully if I zoom in a little bit, you guys can at least see the PowerShell commands a little bit more clearer. So I'm gonna start things off by typing in install-module because we're about to go and try and install the Network Testing Companion via PowerShell. So I'm gonna go and install a module which gives my PowerShell additional functionality. So install module, what's the name of this module? Okay, so I'm gonna type in dash name. The name is Network Testing Companion. Smash the enter button. Okay, here you're gonna see it's gonna ask you about an untrusted repository, especially if you're gonna try and do this in the cloud. If you're gonna do this on your local machine, it might not even do this. You might not even get this message, but I've noticed if you do this on a virtual machine in the cloud or just a virtual machine in general, there's a good chance it's gonna ask you yes or yes to all or no to all or just suspend. Or what do you wanna actually go and choose? It's because it doesn't know if this is a trustworthy command or if this is a trustworthy location. It just doesn't, in general, doesn't know what's going on. So since we know what we're about to go and do, we trust this tool. I'm going to go and say yes. Um, I specifically am going to say yes to all. So I'm just going to go and type in A for yes to all. If you want, you can just go say Y or just choose Y, which is just once off yes. But I'm going to say yes to all. I don't want to have to go and do for this every time. All right, guys, there was actually a bit of a time lapse there. You might not be able to see it in the video because I'm probably going to fast forward it for you guys. But it actually took about between two to five minutes to actually take place. So if you're going to go and press yes or A, uh, basically A for yes to all. There's a possibility that it might look like nothing is happening, but if you wait about two minutes or five minutes, you're gonna see something's gonna flash on the screen and eventually you're gonna end up where I am right now. Okay, so technically, believe it or not, we've actually just gone and installed the network testing companion. Now it might not look like it because we don't see anything, but actually it's been installed. We just have no way of restarting it. So what we're gonna go and do just to make our lives a little bit easier is we're gonna go and create ourselves a shortcut on the desktop to launch this great program. So how you can go and do that is by typing in the following command. Invoke dash tool create shortcuts. There we go, boys and girls. Just smash the enter button. Let's see what happens. If all goes well, we'll get a shortcut on the desktop. Check it out. We've got the network testing companion shortcut on the desktop now. Now wasn't that easy. Very easy peasy. So all we need to do now is just close PowerShell and well, you guessed it, just click on the icon and launch the great tool. So let's have some fun boys and girls. And there we go. So that's what the tool actually looks like. So we just had to go and run some two commands for the most part it was actually just two short, easy peasy commands in PowerShell. One was to go and install the tool, which went very quick, took about two minutes. And then the second one was basically just to go and create ourselves a nice little shortcut on the desktop so we can actually access this nice little tool. And there we go, we've got it. So now you can go and play with this tool. 
Now, what I'm about to go and do might not be the same for you. It obviously is unique for each company, each environment, but let me show you. So now, as you guys can see, um, it actually has already started checking some of my requirements on this specific machine I'm on. Now, note, I am on a virtual machine, so it's not going to be completely accurate. You can see the operating system. It says that's a green tick, so we have the correct operating system. This should be sufficient. The internet connection is decent. I mean, it kind of has to be if I'm using a virtual machine, if you think about it. Uh, it does, however, say a warning. It doesn't say it's not going to work. It just gives me a warning here under Microsoft Certified Device. This is not certified for Teams. It's probably because I'm using a virtual machine. You can see under Network Assessment also gives us a warning. So I'm going to start things off here on the right-hand side by clicking on Install. So it's going to go and install this nice little nifty little feature. So let's just jump in and do that. Install. And there we go. We've just installed the tool. Successfully installed the tool is what it says. And you'll notice now here at the bottom right of one of these four blocks, it now actually says the network assessment tool has also been installed. Now that's the only one I might not be able to get green today because I'm using a virtual machine in the cloud, but that preferably needs to be a green tick too in your company environment. So what I'm gonna do next is, I suppose all that's left to do is to click on start. Now, there's a chance it may or may not time out. This has happened with some people in the past. If it does time out, my suggestion would be to go here to your settings tab on the top right hand side and where it says connectivity test time out in seconds, maybe just go and increase that number. That generally seems to solve the problem. So with that being said, let's go back to start test and click start on the sucker and see what happens. If you find a little UAC window popping up or a security window of some kind, just allow it. Um, it might actually do the same thing if you try to install the network testing companion. Mine did not do that earlier, but if it does pop up with some sort of UAC, in other words, user account control message asking you for permission, so to speak, just allow it. I mean, obviously it's a safe tool to go and use, so I'm just gonna go and say allow access. And there we go, boys and girls. So during that process, it took actually a while. It took about five to seven minutes to complete. So there was a bit of a time lapse there. Made it go a little bit quicker for you guys. You don't have to wait so long. Um, at some point it said my connectivity sucks. <laughs> it doesn't really suck, but for some reason it thinks my connectivity sucks. Quality, it seems to think is pretty decent. And you can also go click here on the view results tab to just check it out more in detail. At least that's how it was in the past. Um, under network connectivity, once again, it says there was a problem connecting to one or more transport or media relays. Uh, it could be that maybe just the port is blocked. There's a good chance that this might just be because I'm using a virtual machine in the cloud. So it doesn't mean my internet quality is too slow. It doesn't mean it's too unstable. In other words, packet loss. It could just be that I'm being blocked in some sort of manner. Maybe it's because I'm being blocked by a port or something. Um, here in the bottom, you can see that the quality is sufficient. Uh, now, obviously, we're going to ignore my results here. This is just to show you guys how you would go about doing it. Whether mine is success or not is irrelevant here. The point is we want to get your network to work. So if you're going to be doing this for real in your company environment, we ideally want to get that thing to work. Um, if you just intend on writing the exam, then I wouldn't be too concerned if this is success or not. As long as you understand the concept of what the Microsoft Network Testing Companion actually is and what it can achieve for you. I mean, obviously it's going to allow you to go and check if you've got the right operating system. Do you have an internet connection at all? And if so, if it's fast enough, if it's stable enough, do you have a Microsoft certified device, which is certified for Teams? Um, and just in general, do you have the ports open and all that stuff that's supposed to be open? I think in my case, it might be because the port is not open. So yeah, that pretty much summarizes the whole shebang. Um, now we know what the tool is. We've explained what the tool is. We've explained how quick and easy it is to actually go and install it. It's simply just two PowerShell commands, one to install, one to create yourself a shortcut. Once you've done that, it's pretty straightforward. At least now you can go and test your network. So if you ever find yourself needing to go and test the network to see if it actually supports Teams, very unlikely you ever need to really go and do this in real life. Um, but if you ever need to, this is how you go and do it. So that concludes this lesson for today, guys. So if this video has been informative, like usual, give the video a like. And if you'd like to be informed of when other training videos like this one comes out, I mean, they are all free after all, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode, episode 11. Bye, guys. Let me.